Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. I have been solving math problems for GRE out of this book here, practicing to take the GRE, General Test, the 10th edition. The problem that I'm about to solve is the one that you're going to find on page number 227. The tag that I use is GRE 10E for the 10th edition. Page 227, quantitative comparison, quantitative comparison, hence the QC. Number 10. Let's take a look at it. Problem number 10. They give you a little picture here of a parallelogram. So let me draw a parallelogram. And then they give you some information here. But before I write down the information here, uh, let's talk about what concept that they're testing here. They tell you that PQRS is a parallelogram. And parallelogram has several different characteristics. One characteristic, of course, the reason why it's called parallelogram is because these two sides are parallel, these two sides are parallel, the opposite sides are parallel. And another thing is that opposite angles. This angle equals that angle, and this angle equals this angle, always. Otherwise, it will, otherwise line will, the opposite lines will not be parallel. That's all that is. That's the only concept that they're testing here. And they tell me that this angle is x minus 5. And they tell me that this is y plus 10. And then they, must be, then they want us to compare x versus y. That's all. So let's do it then. Let's do it then. The easiest, the easiest, the quickest way, the most efficient way, to solve this problem is to just plug in numbers. Don't do it theoretically, don't do it in an abstract manner. Just plug in numbers and keep your life simple. So I'm just, I'm just going to pretend that this angle here, I'm just going to pretend that this angle here is 100. If that were the case, if that were the case, the 90 would have to be, uh, if that were the case, y would have to be 90 because 90 plus 10 will give me 100. This angle is 100. So therefore this angle is also 100. So what number minus the 5 will give me 100? Obviously 105. That's it, we're done. Y is 105. And, sorry, X is 105. And uh, Y is 90. That's all. Because 100 minus 5 is 105 minus 5 is 100. And 90 plus 10 is 100. That's all. Just, so again, one more time, just plug in any, any number that you want. Any number that you want at all for Y. And based on that, you'll have the value for this angle. And whatever the value of this angle is, this angle also has to have the same value. So here I plug in 90 for y. So because I wanted this angle to be 100. I don't know why 100. I just like 100. It's a nice round number. Why should I deal with 78 or 70 or 57? 100 is a nice number to plug in. So if, if this angle is 100, y would have to be 90. Once I've established that this angle is 100, that angle also has to be 100. But I'm told that that quantity is x minus 5. So what would x have to be? x would have to be 105 because 105 minus 5 is 100. So x is 105, y is 90. Voila, we are done. The answer is A. The answer is A. Let me rewrite that thing that it did not come out very nicely. The answer is A. That's all. I hope you found it helpful. If you wish to work with me on a personal private tutoring, on a personal level for, for private tutoring, personal private tutoring, face-to-face -face personal private tutoring, or if you wish to buy solution manuals to these problems, uh, in either case, go to my website at www.prep, P-R-E-P, prep, F-O-R-4, -E and send me an email. All right? Thanks.